Hi everyone, it's Michelle at Divine's Purpose. How are you? So I have this new stand that I want to work out. I'm hoping this will be good for future videos so you guys can see the cards more clearly. If, to those of you who desire to learn Tarot and Oracle, this may be best for you. I hope you guys are doing well. There's a lot of energy coming forward and I want to dive into my Oceanic Tarot to tap into Divine Masculine Energy today for the Twin Flame Collective. The energy is very heavy, um, but there is a lot of heart chakra and throat chakra coming into fruition. So I'm going to call in Archangel Metatron to assist me with this and see where the energy is. Now this desires to come out, absolutely. So the thing is with um, Divine Masculines right now, they're definitely in manifestation mode, which is really beautiful. This is a really good place to be. Um, because there are decisions coming forward <laughs> into the twin flame journey and probably their soul's purpose is what I'm feeling. Give me a second, y'all. You know, this is my new t my new setup. It always takes time. Wow, guys. Okay, I hope you guys can see this clearly. I wish I had a little bit of a wider angle. Um, but this is also followed up with the Three of Cups. I don't do reversals, but there is a lot of energy here. So let's get this pop in. So with a couple of these major arcanas that are showing, I see that Divine Masculines are really stepping into understanding what true manifestation is through their heart space. And I say that because of the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups that is very prevalent right here, with the Seven of Cups, this is 11. Um, and then we have the Four of Wands, which is the 11, 11. Um, a lot of mirroring right now. I feel like the, the masculines are really feeling this transformation, this death energy. A little bit of the Dark Knight of the Soul is what I'm picking up. Um, so let me get some clarifiers using my After Tarot. Um, Divine Masculines, if you are watching and listening, Please understand that what you're going through right now is actually a very beautiful transformation. I'm picking up a lot of energy here, a lot of water energy, um, especially with the death and the cups. The magician here is really calling me out. So I'm going to see what this is in regards to. So let me see what this magician is in regards to. So yeah, there's some balancing that is going on here. Divine Masculines, you are definitely in a crossroad. Feeling that very strongly. But what is this crossroad? What is this decision? Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. This is really understanding your work. Um, Nine of Pentacles is that card when we are really grounded in our energy and we are understanding who we are. And it's literally allowing whatever you have planted I would see the three here, the trilogy energy, to allow it to blossom, um, to allow spring to come in. You can see the bird flying away. She dropped her glove. I love this, especially for this energy right now, right? Everybody's wearing gloves and masks, but this is really just enjoying the journey, enjoying the moment. Um, now, because this is a nine and this is a two, I keep getting that 11. I feel like you guys are really stepping into really understanding the twin flame journey in a different way perspective. Um, the choice that you need to make, the Seven of Cups, I want to get one more clarifier for that. Okay, see, I knew this was going to come out. I felt it. Um, the devil. So the devil energy is really in regards to fears. A little bit of lustful, toxic energy here. <coughs> Excuse me while I cough. You know, that's a sign. I'm feeling a little bit of ego here. Um, in regards to the Magician and the Seven of Cups. In traditional Seven of Cups, not the Oceanic Tarot, it's really a man holding all the jewels, very greedy, um, really trying to choose which cup they want because they have so many options. Divine Masculines, um, you might be still facing these options and these challenges through the ego, meaning please be clear that you do desire um, more of higher love versus um, materialism mm. but there's definitely a balancing going on here to manifest what they desire this can also be divine um, divine feminines really tapping into their work 
No, that's too many. The Nine of Cups showed. Let me see what this is about, guys. I'm going to ask about the Four of Wands. That just flew out. Look at that. The Ten of Wands. So this current energy, you guys, look at that four and then ten. What I'm picking up here is five completion. I mean, excuse me, five change. Ten is the completion. I'm picking up April 10th um, because of the fire and we're in the airy season. I, April's, April is such a transformative month, y'all. You know, with everything that's going on with the planets, with the full moon in Libra, which we did have last year as well on April 7th. And this coming into April 10th, I feel like there's going to be a huge shift from now, from April 10th. Take that as it resonates for you. But this is taking responsibility for their actual work and their actual mission work. Um, I feel like Divine Masculines here are really balancing out some toxic energies that came from the past. Uh, let's see what this death and transformation represents, which is for pale energy. <clears throat> Wow. Wow. Okay. That's beautiful. This transformation is bringing divine masculines into a really beautiful place of strength. This is like the beauty in the beast card. You know, Bella, I always say, is the divine feminine and the beast is the divine masculine. And, you know, it's those rose petals, right? It's like the time, divine timing plays out here. Patience, strength. Something is going on with divine masculines right now, guys. Divine Masculines, if you're watching this and this resonates, please press the like button. And if you feel called to like, I mean, to comment below, please do. We love to hear from you. But yeah, see, look at all these divinity cards. This is taking some more balance in time. The limbo energy, the hangman. You see that she's crunching his thirst, though, for knowledge and enlightenment. The light, the sun around his head. It's very interesting energy, actually. I feel like divine masculines are really in their head. And be careful of that because this is, we just passed the um, the moon in Cancer. But what I'm feeling here is that even though we have a lot of emotions, I feel like this is the energy that's going to keep you tied in your mental divine masculine. Um, try to come back into your heart space because a true magician, I already said it landed, a true magician really manifest what they desires through their heart space let's see look at this you guys the seven of cups is mirroring each other here with the devil so okay divine masculines please be aware of what you're manifesting at this time you know your energy right now is extremely powerful especially being in um the mental space but this is what i was talking to you guys about with the guy with the snake around him and being greedy all these different options this is the seven of cup twice this is a big message when it comes out twice in the same energy field i feel like divine masculines are really sitting down and contemplating their choices and i feel like a lot of divine masculines think that choices is something that is a power um excuse me options options is they think it's a power but the only way that's a power is when you're dealing with eco-based energy hmm. i feel like this divine masculine might be manifesting from the ego but it seems like he's going to step out of it hmm. the moon I want to know what the moon was with, look at these major arcana guys. Divine masculines are really feeling something here. They're really doing something too. I feel action. The moon with, and the sun. Wow. Talk about polarity. Divine masculines are really trying to balance out their dark and light right now. I feel like they are going back and forth within the dark, coming back into the light. Very interesting energy, divine masculines. Okay, so I'm getting a message here with reunion or union energy here of self, of course, with divine feminines too, if that resonates. But I'm feeling that there is a lot of <clears throat> memories coming through and it's triggering them. It's triggering divine masculines. Because of time and because of waiting and because of 
surrendering whatever this is to God. Interesting. All right. So we have the Queen of Swords. The last card that came out is the Ace of Swords. So Divine Masculines are definitely coming into a place of knowledge and truth. Like I said, there's this yin and yang balance that's picking up right now through the death, through the transformation. I feel like because of the death card and the transformation, they have to go through something here emotionally to really feel what has happened in their own shadows, which is going to give them inner strength. But this is going to take some more time to understand. And they're going to be taking responsibility for what has happened. But because the devil energy and the two seven of cups with the magician card, I feel like something is brewing here that has to do with the moon and the sun. This is a masculine energy. This is a feminine energy. The moon is really about illusions. The sun is about happiness. So what I'm picking up here is a divine masculine who's trying to balance their old materialistic ways of thinking, the programming, and their new way of enlightenment, really. Um, that's what I'm picking up, y'all. So what I'm going to do is finish up with some shadows. And look, the bottom of the deck is the moon. Um, and I want to see what this is in regards to. Because it's it's a very uh, calm energy, though. Like, I feel very calm. But very much in the head. Divine Masculines, please understand that to really fulfill your destiny and your mission, you have to step into a place of your heart. Everything else is an illusion. Yeah, see, exactly. Okay. The first card that came out is number 37, Cycles. Um, <coughs> this is a 10, which is a completion. I'm sorry if I'm coughing, y'all. I just, yeah. it's just, um, yeah. hold on. I'm not, I'm not farting. It's my chair. Um, I'm coughing because there is definitely some throat chakra activations that are coming forward. Of course, when I'm looking for something, I can't find it. I was trying to find the book for this, but I guess I would have to do this int intuitively. Uh, but the cycles that are coming to an end right now is really part of your journey, Divine Masculines. Divine Feminines, if you are cross-watching, this is a Divine Masculine that is reaching their peak. Um, I feel like there's something happening through this transformation. Um, and everything and everyone has cycles in their life. It's a part of the journey. You know, things change. This is definitely a part of the moon cycle. Divine Masculines, if you resonate with this, please follow the moon cycle. It will really help you with your intuitive self. Honesty, because it's the time to be honest. Fire energy. Aries. This is when you really have to be honest with yourself, Divine Masculine, and take the risk and the leap of faith. So we have the eight, and then we have the four. Um, four plus four is eight. There is something that's matching here and fours are my divine masculine number and eight is infinity. This is a karmic cycle that's coming to a close. I've been feeling this for a while though. So in the shadows right now that you have to deal with is actually your, your, your truth about your actual journey, divine masculine. Um, and to really understand it there's a risk that you need to be taking there's something that you need to surrender so you can jump in to have a leap of faith and when it comes to a leap of faith the one thing that you must have is courage strength because sometimes you jump and take a leap of faith and you don't know what the result is and that's very difficult for divine masculines as divine masculines are very uh, logical thinkers they like to strategize and when they do something that has to do with their heart space I feel that divine masculines have a little bit more of a harder time because it's the unknown but whatever this energy is I feel calm I feel like this leap of faith is going to bring you into a place of calmness and happiness yeah, I really do feel, guys, that there's a cycle that's coming to a close. And it's like you're coming, you're moving from the moon energy to the sun energy. You're leaving something behind here. Wow, that's beautiful. You're leaving something behind here to grow for success. That could be your divine feminine. Take it as it resonates. You're leaving the illusions and coming into your happiness. But you're going to have to take that leap of faith. All right, so I think that's it for today. I hope you guys like the setup. It's a little messy. I'll work on it. This is my first time. But... 
the message was pretty clear. If you did like the video, please press like, subscribe, of course. And if you desire your own reading or your healing session, please contact me at Divine's Purpose on Instagram, or you can just click on my website below. Much love, y'all. I hope you guys have a great day.